Well, welcome back folks to an early morning here. Uh, gotta take this truck out to the shop out in New Ross to get inspected. They're my favorite shop to go to. I trust those guys 100%. Um, so that's where we're headed. We're heading out there, drop this off. Brady's gonna meet me out there. We're gonna look at a big DOT job while we're out there to see if uh, I wanna take it on or not. And then head her on back to the pit grab the truck go over to the house get the new dump truck the international take that to a job site brady's going to drop that machine and go pick up the 95 and take it to the job that we're going to together trevor's got the ram the diamond c and the 080 heading to a job in for a, a tower road in mount uniac so first things first we got to get this thing out to new ross get looked at for the inspection so one day after one day after driving the automatic back in the back in the 8ll and it feels uh it feels right if you know what i'm saying hey okay, what well, this truck does drive along so nice so nice, like it drives, drives basically just as good as the other one. Seat's nowhere near as comfortable. Obviously the interior's got some rattles in here. It's got 900, 924,000 kilometers on it. So like, you know, what do you expect? But man, this thing drives along so nice. There shouldn't be too much to do to this thing. I really hope not. Today is Wednesday. I really would like to have this thing back by the end of the week. That's for sure. I uh, I can't afford this thing down for a while. Get the oil changed. Um, the brakes are feel a little bit weak when you got a load on, so hopefully it's just as easy as as it getting them adjusted, and then we're ready to roll. Fingers crossed. That's all I'm saying. Nothing that jumps out to me that, you know, needs to be done about this truck. All right, well, here we are. I'm back on this job. Seems like I've been on this job forever with just weather and everything else. It's just taken so long. Um, lots of cleanup left to do. Piles here. You got some logs to haul out, which is going to start happening today. Got a lot of rock to haul in because this whole area here is going to get rocked. Basically, this whole area over here is going to get rocked so that the concrete trucks get in, the, the well drilling trucks get in, delivery trucks, all that sort of stuff. This is nice and hard now because we've had a few days of, of decent weather, but this was an absolute mess the whole time we were working here. Got these stumps down here yet to come out uh, because, um, yeah, because uh, that's where the septic's going. Foundations right here. So we'll have room to get around for doing stuff. Getting back at the septic again if we don't do it right away because he wants to get starting to build here on this. So I got one load from the Middlewood Quarry and then a load from down here, down to Dino's. I'm gonna keep bringing this stuff in, setting it off to the side, getting a nice solid base. Um, yeah, and then start hauling stuff out. Logs out at the end of the day because I don't need to worry about uh, getting material leveled off and all that sort of stuff. Even the grubbins can get hauled out at the end of the day because that pit doesn't close. But yeah, we got lots and lots and lots to do. All right, well, here's the first load of grubbins to go in the truck. Probably ever, to be honest. I don't think that this truck was ever used to haul grubbins before. Uh, but it will be doing lots of that with me. <laughs> This is a big, big part of what we do is, is right here. Exactly this, land clearing, um, building roads, all that sort of stuff. So we'll be doing quite a bit of that with me, there's no doubt. So I'm gonna haul one or two loads of the brush and stuff out of here now to make room for where the gravel's going, the rock's going. And then I'll come back and get, get some logs out so that Brady's got more room to work. He's got most of the stumps ripped out now, so he'll have to carry those up to where he can get it loaded. But if he levels out the rock, then I can back up that much further 
be a lot easier for working in here that's for sure so i'm thinking after i get this load on that uh the next load i'll haul is other the rest of the grubbins that's there if we can't get it all on or uh or a load of logs we're not going far the, the pit that i'm dumping at is literally just like five minutes down the road so um if, if i was trucking this like an hour away which my pit would be probably 35 40 minutes away from here if i was hauling it that far i would make sure that this that it was completely rounded up as high as it could possibly be before i left this location but um since i'm going so close i'm not gonna push i'm not gonna push it too much risk scratching the box up and you know all that stuff in the truck but those greedy boards have got to go i've got to get some decent sized greedy boards on there those little two by six those are those are no good for doing this stuff you want to maximize the box that's for sure and it's six to eight inches lower than what it should be That is the fastest tarp <laughs> that I have ever seen in my life. up and that will give Brady time to level out the rest of the piles of that rock and then carry the stumps up and I'll be able to back in further to get the stumps thrown on and then um, at the end of the day it seems to see how it goes I'll end up hauling a load of crooked stuff the firewood stuff out to the pit so it's probably going to be two, maybe three loads of logs, two for sure, and one or two loads of firewood. Definitely. Uh, yeah, might need a couple more loads of rock, but can't do anything until that stuff's out of the way. Got a bit of a drive up to the mill. Pleasant River is where we're headed after this. All right. All the second load of logs right now. So, so far today, what have we done? We got one, two, three, four loads of like pit run, um, rock shot, one load of grubbins haul, and two loads of logs now. Soon to be, soon to be hauled out of here. So another pretty good day today with the truck. I uh, haven't heard anything from the shop yet to see how the Sterling's making out. I don't know if it made it in, inside or what. Hopefully it did and it will be ready to go by the end of the week. Is really what I'm hoping. I mean, it'd be awesome if he called me and said, hey, if you're ready tomorrow morning, 
I would say, okay, I will be out to get it. Because I can definitely use it, that's for sure. Um, anyway, I guess we will wait and see. So dump this load off, and then I might head back and haul a load of uh, firewood out. Or, or grubbins out, or something out, instead of heading home. I don't know. Uh, if I was home at... 7:30 or 8 o'clock, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. But I'll have to see what, uh, what's going on at the homestead and figure, figure that out from there. Well, this definitely came out of nowhere. Holy cow! It was, I mean, it's been missing on and off throughout the day today, but there was nothing like this. It's Seven o'clock right now. We did pretty good, I guess. We got four or maybe even five days in a row without, without a downpour and a bunch of rain. So for here in Nova Scotia this year, that's uh, that's like a vacation. You can see some blue skies there in the, in the distance. So pretty much wrapping up for today, um, got some logs hauled, obviously everything that I said before, I'm going to, now it's sunny again. If you don't like the weather in Nova Scotia, just drive, uh, drive up, drive 500 feet and then it will be fine. <laughs> so I'm going to head to the pit right now, I don't think the pit's locked up. So I'm going to lock that up and then uh, head on home, I guess, and get that one cleaned up tomorrow. Might even start getting the foundation uh, prepped and dug out. Trevor's going back into that job, Mount Uniac. Um, I got to make a phone call when I get in. Man, that's, that's the low fuel alarm. It's like, holy cow, all right, I can see it. Um, I gotta make a phone call to a concrete company to see if they still plan on digging a foundation tomorrow. If they plan on digging a foundation tomorrow, then I'm going to have to get a machine hauled in there to get that on the go with uh, the 80 and probably the skid steer because it's just nice to have the skid steer for picking up the piles and moving it out of the way as we're digging. But that all depends on if they're ready for us or what's going on. So, depending on what they say, depends on what Brady's doing. I know where I'm going for sure. I'm going, I'm going back to that job. I would love to actually get that job finished with the machine on the site this time, which would mean though, which would mean septic and foundation dug, everything cleaned up, driveway 100% in all that stuff so I don't know if I can dedicate that machine to that site for that long but we'll have to see I guess all right folks it's now the next day back at this again got a load of rock in a load of grubbins out so far uh, definitely one more full load of logs to come out and then there's a bunch of firewood down here but there are some there are some logs in this so if that's not a full load there, we can cut eight and 10 footers out of some of this stuff. Uh, there's a couple couple nice ones over there. We can definitely get, definitely get a couple logs out of even that one. So we'll definitely have a full load going up. Um, but yeah, we just got some more cleanup here and a bunch of stumps to haul out. One more load of rock, maybe two more loads of rock, probably two more loads of rock to come in. Cause that, cause this here area, this is going, this is going right over to the little brook, same as up there. So yeah, probably two more for sure, maybe even three. See how far this load goes and go from there. Look how easy this is.
the very cool thing about that box of the truck. So you can use it like a barn door. Very cool. Because these big stumps, we're not getting them up over the over the box. And this way too, it's just way easier for dumping it and getting it out. You don't worry about getting hung up on the box. But that's a big stump. Let me tell you. on now I could just back up for him as well but you got her now as long as, as long as it will fit <laughs> all right well got her in it will probably dump with the normal tailgate situation but I gotta use this for the next stump anyway like this, so why not just make sure that everything's gonna go the way that it needs to go. Well, I'd say that that was pretty slick. No, oh, I think I better pull ahead a little bit further. Make sure I can get the door closed. All right, folks, we got the last load of logs getting hauled out of here on the truck. Ready to roll. So I got one more load of, well, two more loads of garbage stuff to come out like firewood and grubbins out of that pile might just take that whole pile just down the road and dump it off and then uh, a load of firewood here to haul out we got a couple more loads of rock to bring in just to square things off over here driveway up there square that off and sort of square this off over to those little trees and then it's time for the foundation and the septic i didn't think i was gonna i, I i'm pressed for time because i'm just trying i'm trying to catch up and i was thinking i'd get the slab dug and ready to go so you can start building and then do the septic later because i do have room to get down around it but i might just bite the bullet and leave the machine here for the additional two or three days and get the septic done in the ground out of the way then do the foundation because that's ideally what i'd like to do has worked my way out um, anyway like I said I'm just fighting fighting timelines and other clients and stuff like that are waiting yeah so anyway um, it's like quarter to six I'm supposed to be home between six and six thirty but that's not gonna happen I've got to take this load out to the mill and dump off and then head home so it's probably gonna be 7 30 or so by the time I get home oh <sighs> Well, I made it back. It's like 7.30 right now. An absolutely beautiful evening. We're not really getting summer here in Nova Scotia, it seems like, until September. But whatever. I'll take it when I can get it. It's another day in the books. Another job. Almost done. Stage of it. Uh, what is this? Today... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day three with the truck. It has not stopped since I got it. Um, that's for sure. So far, so good. Learned a couple things along the way about the truck. Um, nothing crazy. Just anytime you buy something new to you or new, you always find a little couple little things that you just figure out i guess you know along the way no issues at all um haul is absolutely great comfortable seat um the automatic is it is what it is it's easy like you literally just sit in the thing and drive 
Um, I've been working on a lot of back roads and hills and stuff and rough roads. I would have been shifting a lot in the Sterling. Mainly from between 5, 6, and 7. I wouldn't have gotten into 8th at all. But with this thing, you just, just go. Yeah. Anyway, I'm jumping from this Cummins to that Cummins. Because Ashley and Bauer and... And her folks are back to the cottage. Um, it's her it's her stepdad's birthday, my father-in-law's birthday. So I'm gonna head back there. Uh, once I get once I take one to load and once I get showered up and cleaned up a bit, I'm gonna head back there, grab a bite to eat. Call the day, I guess. But anyway, folks, uh, yeah, that's it. Another day in the books. Another job worked on, like I said. It's not done yet, but a lot of it's done, so that's a good start. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then.